Welcome to Sesh Evo. Let's show you how to use your new earbuds. If you're looking for a specific feature, you can skip ahead in this video using these time codes. Your earbuds will automatically turn on when you remove them from the case. And they'll automatically turn off when you put them back in the case. To turn off your buds outside of the case, press each bud for four seconds. To turn them back on, press each bud for two seconds. To pair your device for the first time, place Sush Evo in the charging case without closing the case. Make sure both LEDs show red and then remove them. Both buds will then automatically power on and the LEDs will simultaneously flash blue while they sync to each other. Once the buds have synced together, you'll hear a tone to indicate the sync was successful and only the left bud will begin to flash red-blue. Now, turn on your device's Bluetooth and look for Sesh Evo in your list of available Bluetooth devices. Select Sesh Evo on your device and accept any pair or OK prompts that appear on your screen. When pairing is complete, a voice prompt will say, connected. To pair to a new device, remove your buds from the case to power them on. Then hold either bud for four seconds to enter pairing mode. Select Sush Evo on your device and accept any pair or OK prompts that appear on your screen. When pairing is complete, a voice prompt will say, connected. Sush Evo fits comfortably and securely in your ear, thanks to off-axis technology and noise-isolating ear gels. Here's how to get the best fit. Place the bud in your ear and gently adjust it inward until it feels comfortable and stable. Sesh Evo has a full suite of controls to keep you connected without having to touch your phone. To play or pause your music, Press either bud once. To turn up the volume, press the right bud twice. To turn down the volume, press the left bud twice. To skip a song forward, press and hold the right bud for two seconds. To skip a song backward, press and hold the left bud for two seconds. To take a call, press either bud once. You can also end the call by pressing either bud once. To reject a call, press and hold either bud for two seconds. To activate your device's assistant, press the left or right bud three times. When fully charged, there will be up to five hours of playtime in the buds and 19 hours in the charging case, reaching up to 24 total hours of playtime. To charge your earbuds, place them in the charging case. The earbud LEDs will be solid red while charging. The LEDs will turn off when fully charged. 10 minutes of charging will provide up to two hours of playtime. If you're using your earbuds with an Apple device, you can check their battery life on the shortcut screen when they're connected to your device. Sesh Evo's case can be independently charged with or without the buds in it. To check how much battery life is left, Press the button on the front of the case or open the case and the LEDs will turn on. Each LED that is on equals 25% of battery life. While charging, the LEDs will go from blinking to solid to represent each 25% of charged capacity from 25% up to 100%. To charge your case, plug in the USB-C rapid charge cable and connect to a computer, wall charger, power bank, or 12 volt adapter in a car. A 10-minute charge of the charging case will provide two-plus hours of battery playtime. Sometimes, you want to be able to hear your music, but still hear what's going on around you. When you want to do that, you can use just one earbud. We call this solo mode. Both the left and right earbud of Sesh Evo can be used in solo mode. To use solo mode, make sure both earbuds are on and connected. Then. Place the earbud you aren't using back in the case. The remaining bud will stay paired and function with both phone calls and music. To use both earbuds again, simply remove the other bud from the case at any time and you will hear a tone 
or the music will seamlessly begin to stream to indicate that you have automatically entered back into stereo mode. To help you get the best sound quality from your content, Sesh Evo also features our new EQ listening modes. The three modes are music mode, podcast mode, and movie mode. To alternate EQ modes, press either bud four times and a voice prompt will notify you each time your EQ mode changes. Your default EQ setting is music mode, which is great for general listening. Podcast mode removes most of the bass response and is great for podcasts or audiobooks. Movie mode slightly increases the loudness and bass to enhance your favorite action-packed media. To make sure you never lose your earbuds, we've built Tile technology into your Sesh Evo. The Tile tracking feature is really easy to set up and will allow you to locate either one of your earbuds if you've misplaced them or if they're ever taken. When searching for missing earbuds, you can also use the Tile app to sound a tone from your buds to help you locate them. You can sound a tone from one earbud or both. First, you'll need to download the Tile app for this feature to work. Once you've downloaded the Tile app, follow the on-screen instructions to connect each earbud individually so they are both trackable. Here's how you reset Sesh Evo to solve pairing difficulties. First, remove your earbuds from your device's Bluetooth paired list. Now, turn off both earbuds by pressing each bud for four seconds. Then, press each bud for 10 seconds to completely reset them. You'll see the LEDs flash blue first, and then finally, red. Now, place each bud back in the case until both LEDs show red, and then remove them. Both buds will automatically power on, and the LEDs will simultaneously flash blue while they sync to each other. Once the buds have synced together, you'll hear a tone to indicate the sync was successful, and only the left bud will begin to flash red-blue. At this time, turn on your device's Bluetooth and look for Sesh Evo in your list of available Bluetooth devices. Select Sesh Evo on your device and accept any pair or OK prompts that appear on your screen. When pairing is complete, a voice prompt will say, Connected. If you ever have any other questions about how to use Sesh Evo, check out our website or 